To boost its economy, the Chinese government is building China. They're spending a lot of money on big construction projects like roads, dams, and buildings. This spending is in the trillions of yuan, and it could boost China's economy, which is the second biggest in the world, not only this year, but also in the future. So guys, join us as we look at some of the most amazing mega projects China has done or is currently doing. With that said, let's get started. 11. Chanzhou-1 Cargo Spacecraft On September 22, 2017, at about 6 p.m., Chanzhou-1, which is China's first cargo spaceship, was told to leave its path in space. It had finished its work in space and done some experiments. During this mission, Chanzhou-1 tested important things like giving more supplies to a space station, filling up with fuel in space, and connecting to the station all on its own. This was a big step forward for China's space program, and it was a moment that proved that they are now in the space age. 10. Elvzhijiang Bridge The Elvzhijiang Bridge, built by China Railway Group Limited, is a special kind of bridge that hangs in the air and connects two sides of a deep canyon. It's an amazing engineering achievement and looks like it's floating at one end, but it's not just a pretty sight. This project took three years to complete and turned a 90-minute car ride into a quick two-minute trip. This could bring more tourists to the Yunnan province and help the local economy grow. 9. Taehu Underwater Tunnel The Yanks River Delta area is home to a lot of people and businesses in China, and it makes up a big chunk of the country's money. But because it's hard to travel between towns, it's been tough for local companies to find and keep good employees. To make things better and help the economy, two groups, China TCU Civil Engineering Group and Third Harbor Engineering, worked together to build a really long and wide tunnel under a lake called the Tahu Tunnel. It's like a superhighway with six lanes going in two directions, and it's the biggest one of its kind in China. 8. Chapel of Sound In the Chain region of China, near the Great Wall, there's a really cool place called the Chapel of Sound. It's an amazing piece of engineering and sound design. This chapel is impressive, whether there's a concert happening or not. The company Araniev gave its construction to the architects from Beijing's Open Architecture, and they did a great job. The local government wanted to bring more tourists to this far-off area, so they started building it in April 2018, and it was finished in October 2021. Now, visitors can enjoy a special experience at the Chapel of Sound, even if it's raining or sunny. 7. Hong Kong Zhuhai Macaw Bridge After being built for nine years, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macaw Bridge is now open for cars and trucks to use. It's the longest bridge over the sea in the world. The bridge is 55 kilometers long and has three big bridges and roads that connect the three cities. This makes the travel time between Hong Kong and Macaw or Zhuhai much shorter. Before, it took an hour to go by ferry but now you can drive there in just 40 minutes. The Chinese government made this bridge to bring together the Greater Bay Area, which includes 11 cities in southern China, such as Hong Kong and Macau. This is an important part of their plan to make these cities work together better economically and socially. 6. Shanghai Astronomy Museum The universe is incredibly big and amazing, and that's why people are so fascinated by it. The same goes for the Shanghai Astronomy Museum. It took more than seven years to plan and build, and it opened in July 2021. It's now the biggest museum in the world all about space. This museum is huge, covering an area of 39,019 square meters. That's about as big as 70 football fields. It's like a big tribute to space exploration and all the incredible things in the universe. It was designed by a Chinese company called Ened, and it has lots of cool exhibits. When you visit, you can walk around and learn about things like black holes, planets, and the sun. They even have a giant model of the sun that looks fiery and red. There's also a really tall telescope you can look through. The museum was designed with a special shape that doesn't have many sharp corners. It's supposed to remind you of the graceful shape of a sundial that tells time using the sun's shadow. 5. Wudong Hydropower Station the Wudong Hydropower Station on the Jincha River in southwest China is not just a really tall dam. It's the main part of a power station. Inside, 12 machines use water to make electricity. Together, they can make about 38.9 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year. That's enough to power about 300,000 homes for a whole year. Even though it took more than seven years to finish, this project is a big deal. It will have a huge impact 
and it's helping China reach its goal of not adding more carbon to the environment than it takes away by 2060. 4. Alibaba Shanghai Campus Tech companies always need to keep evolving, and architecture firms like Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill want to create office spaces that can change and grow with the company. They recently worked on expanding Alibaba's office in Shanghai, which is a big e-commerce company in China. They designed the office to be flexible, like a cloud in the sky. This is a nod to Alibaba's cloud computing services and the ever-changing tech world. The office has big open areas and workspaces without columns, so they can easily rearrange things. They also made a big courtyard, terraces, gardens on the roof, and special bridges for people to collaborate. They want employees to interact more and not feel like work has to happen in one place all the time. Another amazing thing is that when they were planning the office, they kept in mind Alibaba's idea that change is the only constant, so the office could change too as the company keeps growing and changing. 3. Yanku Dam China is building a really big structure called the Yanku Dam on the Tibetan Plateau, which is a super high and flat area often called the Roof of the World. What's special about this project is that they're using 3D printing and smart machines instead of people to do the work. They started building it in December 2021. They even use machines like bulldozers, trucks, and excavators that can work by themselves without any human intervention. This makes the project safer and reduces the chance of mistakes. Some companies like Upper Yellow River Hydropower Development Co., State Power Investment Corporation, Gansu Electric Power Investment Group, and Shaanxi Hydropower Development Co. are working together on this. The dam is going to be on the Yellow River, and it will also have a power station. Together, they will provide electricity to about 100 million people in Henan Province. 2. Hangzhou Bay Bridge The Hangzhou Bridge is a very long bridge that goes over the ocean and sits beautifully on the Tuantang River. It connects a bunch of places in Zhejiang Territory, like Zhenjidai, Jiaxing, and Hainan City on one side, and Ningbo. Sixi and Shuliwen City on the other side. Right now, it's the third widest bridge that goes over the ocean in the world. The first two are the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge in China and the Lake Pontchartrain Bridge in the United States. They started building the Hangzhou Bay Bridge on November 14, 2003, and it officially opened on June 26, 2007. People started using it for driving on May 1, 2008. The bridge has six lanes for cars, and it's made for driving at a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour. That's about 100 kilometers per hour. They think it will last for about 100 years before they have to fix it up. One great thing about the Hangzhou Bay Bridge is that it makes the trip shorter between Shanghai and Ningbo. It cuts about 75 miles, that's around 120 kilometers. Off the distance, you have to travel. This means there's less traffic on the Ningbo-Hangzhou-Shanghai Highway which used to be really crowded. Also, it makes it easier for people to get around Shanghai, Zhejiang, and Jiangsu, because you can make a two-hour loop. Right now, the Hangzhou Bay Bridge is a handy way to travel on the Haiku Shenyang Highway, which is an important part of China's big road system. It's also a crucial part of the Hangzhou Bay Circle Highway, which helps people move around the area better. 1. Bulgari Shanghai Flagship can you imagine the exterior of a building being both eco-friendly and fancy for a high-end store? Well, MVRDV, an architecture company, thinks they've done it. They designed the outside of Bulgari's shop in Shanghai, which opened in November 2021, uniquely. They used a special material made from glass taken from champagne and beer bottles. They pressed these glass pieces into big panels. These green panels look like valuable jade, but they're actually made from recycled glass. This is a step toward MVRDV and Bulgari's goal of creating stores in a way that doesn't harm the environment. The architecture firm explained that when you treat and design these leftover champagne and beer bottles the right way, they can become something beautiful for the city instead of being thrown away. And there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more amazing content. Thank you for joining us, and see you next time.